going out on the border? I am going to the border. Shortly, but I do want to get uh, your perspective and explain the story. I was stunned like many people when the details came out yesterday about the case against Chris Brown and what he allegedly did to his now girlfriend and then girlfriend, hmm. Rihanna. He, he whipped the hell out of her. I mean, there's no doubt about it, and there's no way that you can small ball it. I mean, they were in the car together. Uh, she looks at his cell phone, sees a text message from another woman with whom he's had a, a, a relationship. She gives him uh, some lip, and then he starts punching her in the lip and, and the rest of the face. I mean, just he's pounding her, pounding her, pounding her, and wait until we get home, bitch. I'm really going to do it to you. And she, he said he's going to kill her. He really, and, but not just the criminal threats. One That's incidentally, Gretchen, one of the charges. Uh, but also, it, it, it amounted to a felony assault, and now he has been arrested on a felony assault. I mean, there's an affidavit filed. He, he choked her, uh, bit her ear, allegedly, bit her hand, uh, tried to push her out of the car. What's going to happen here? It looks like that they've teamed up now to have the charges go away. But isn't that exactly the way it usually happens, of Peter? You know, whenever you have a relationship, there is that moment of, uh, of passion, that, that moment where sometimes someone dies uh, because the person is so totally out of control. Uh, but then after, come on, baby, I love you, baby. Don't ruin our lives together. We got everything going for us. Uh, and then the, the lead witness suddenly has amnesia or she is refusing to cooperate. She did not show up. Up, uh, during his arraignment here uh, and uh, you know the difficulty for the state will be how do you prove this even though you have a witness who's going to say everything she can to mitigate what happened I, I hit my head on the dashboard right. uh, I, I did it myself she lies? Here's so no, but here's she the thing I've done a tremendous amount of work with domestic violence so unfortunately or fortunately I understand what these women go through and the idea that she is now not going to prosecute him we've had people on the show that say her life may be in danger number two uh, does California, do you know, both of you lawyers, do, can they prosecute without her testimony? Because sure. I know in states like Texas, they can. Oh, yeah. Every, every state now, every modern state uh, uh, has evolved the laws understanding human nature, understanding that once the, the fury uh, or the pain brings you to the authorities, then you have second thoughts. And in the cool, sober moments, you think, who, who are you going to spend the rest of your life with, the prosecutor or Chris Brown? You know, there is a, a negotiation that goes on constantly. That's why the laws have changed so they can bring these assault cases without the uh, the complainant but it makes it extremely difficult and the odds are in my view I don't know what Peter thinks but sure. I, I believe that uh, he will plead to a misdemeanor assault and get probation no yeah Ronald's usually right and, and and if they wanted to they could subpoena her to testify um, she's not testifying against her own self-interest she could give testimony as to what occurred if she can be declared a hostile witness yes also. okay mm -hmm. but it, it, it's to be seen and Araldo points out what she will say when she's sworn again she said well did you give this statement before yeah I did but I was upset I was confused I was mad you I was know, jealous I don't know the Lamborghini was out of control it was really speeding and that's why you know we short stopped and I wound up looking like uh, Frankenstein yeah well you know? just just the details of this just for people I couldn't believe the detail in which they released this happening. You mentioned the text message. It was a, an ex-relationship he had. She start, he starts challenging her verbally. She starts challenging him verbally. We, while still driving, he pops her to the point where blood fills oh. up in her mouth and then continues to beat on her with one hand. And then when he decides to pull over, she decides for her life she's going to try to gouge his eyes out, at which time he bites her hand, sits on the keys, and then ends up trying to choke her with the point where she almost passed out. The fact that they had this detail, that was a different mindset from Rihanna then. Of course, they got her in the uh, you know in the immediate aftermath of what was nearly uh, you know she almost yes. went unconscious. I mean, she could have died, and that's typically what can happen. He, he is in his full rage. You know, I've been mad in my life too, and in, in certain situations, thankfully never with women or children. But you you filled with this rage, he starts doing anything. Anything would have. Uh, gone for him then. Anything would have been justified in his mindset at that moment. He was so filled with his own fury, he had no control over himself. He could have easily killed her. Well, that's what domestic violence is. And that's I mean, what domestic that, violence is. That's exactly is. what it is, and unfortunately, millions of people suffer from it. But the one thing that struck me this morning was that now her father, who a couple days ago was seemed to be tacitly approving of her going back to him, and people were saying, holy cow, how could he allow that with his beautiful daughter? But now it, it appears that the father cannot be in contact with her anymore, and that makes me nervous. But that's why
what? That's what you do. If you're Chris Brown's team, his lawyers, his, uh, his damage control team, his PR people, what you want to do is to keep Rihanna isolated from anyone who can caution her that you have to see this through. You, this man is a danger to you. He'll, he'll smooth talk you now, sweetheart, and then somewhere down the line he's going to snap again, and the next time you won't be so lucky. You isolate the victim from that kind of sage advice, particularly her parents, particularly right. her father, and that's what's happening here. Uh, let's talk about something else uh, as well that you know a lot about. Uh, uh, by the way, he's going to be arraigned on April 6th on two counts of assault. So far, he did not uh, enter a plea, but at 10 minutes after...